Hi, my name's Darlene Spencer, and this is a story of the Spencer Family 1970 GTO. Ed and I were married on August the 31st, 1963. Ed was a tool and dime maker by trade. His interests included the Cincinnati Reds, collecting baseball cards, traveling, and taking train rides. Ed was also an avid reader. He enjoyed collecting wheel horse tractors and going to car shows to see Pontiac GTOs in particular. I worked at school as a paraprofessional for 30 years. In 1968, our first Pontiac was a blue 1966 four-speed GTO, which I drove daily, until Ed brought home a brand new green 1970 Ram Air 3 GTO. I continued driving the new GTO to children's activities, to the grocery, to work. Ed enjoyed driving the GTO to Tennessee for many car shows and anywhere else on the weekends. Living in Cincinnati with salted winter roads, the salt began taking its toll on the GTO. When the trunk floor and the right rear quarter panel began rusting, Ed decided to park the car in the early 1980s with 62,000 miles on the odometer. He planned to restore the car in some future time. Plus, I was getting too many speeding tickets. Due to Ed's full-time job, six days a week in night school for an associate's degree, and participating in the children's activities, the car was never touched for 10 years. Tim, our oldest son, shared many of his father's interests. He liked to play soccer, rock music, gardening, and spending time with his grandparents. During high school, Tim purchased a 1967 blue GTO equipped with a 400 four-speed, which he drove to high school. Our youngest son, Jeff, like his father, was a jack of all trades. He's father's interest as well. Jeff liked traveling to national and state parks. He enjoyed computers, roller coasters, foosball, working on cars, and spending time with family and friends. In the early 90s, Jeff moved into a home next door to our house. It was equipped with a small detached garage. He and his father decided to extend the garage to include a car lift and began, and began the GTO restoration. With a plan, Ed, Jeff, and his uncle Steve began disassembling the GTO and building the garage addition. They were assisted by Jeff's good friends, Neil Bachelier, Dave Eads, Dave Humphreys, Bob O'Neill, Scott Camden, and many others throughout the years. They also built a very handy rotisserie for the car. The GTO body was dipped and sealed along with the hood, fenders, and doors. The frame was sandblasted and sealed along with all the other components of the car. In addition, the body was sent out for the right rear quarter panel to be removed and a new quarter panel be installed. The trunk floor was also replaced. This took place while the garage was being completed. Unfortunately, on October the 19th, 2003, Ed suffered a massive heart attack and died at the age of 62. He died in the driveway while working on his car. Jeff and his crew continued building the garage. They installed a car lift and continued sandblasting, sealing, and shrink wrapping the remaining GTO parts. Again, because of life issues and funds, the restoration was put on hold. In the spring of 2018, Jeff continued his other car projects and began working full time on the GTO restoration when time was available. Jeff also wanted to travel out west to see General Sherman's tree in, in Sequoia National Park. To celebrate Jeff's 50th birthday, October the 3rd, he and a buddy flew out to California, rented a car, and began driving. They stopped at Sequoia National Park, Death Valley, Yosemite. They continued to Lake Tahoe, Crater Lake, Oregon, Redwood National Park. Jeff had always wanted to drive the historic Route 1 to San Diego, viewing the beautiful Pacific Ocean beaches, coastline, and several colorful sunsets on the way. He and his buddy blew back, flew back to Cincinnati on October the 18th. The morning of October 21st, while working on a car in the driveway, Jeff, like his father, suffered a massive heart attack. After Jeff's passing, his friends vowed to finish the GTO restoration. It's been over a year with very little done due to everybody's jobs and family commitments. Finding time to do this, coupled with a lack of experience, the restoration has been difficult. 
We are seeking help and advice to restore the family's GTO after 50 years and hopefully drive it again and maybe not get any more speeding tickets. Hi, my name's Neil. I've been best friends with Jeff Spencer since uh, we graduated in high school in 1987. And we've been pretty much inseparable since then. He's been like a brother to me. Jeff has always been one to fix cars and work for people, friend or stranger. This is Jeff's GTO, the Spencer family GTO. Jeff sent the body out to be dipped, sent the, sent the frame out to be sandblasted. We sealed it in DP90. When we got the body back from dip and all the body panels, we metal prepped them and sealed them in DP40 and that's how the car sits now. We've actually changed the front spindles and the front suspension to Firebird a -arm, upper and lower A-arms and spindles. So it's some kind of upgrade from the GTO suspension that, was, that the, came on the car stock. There's been a new quarter panel hung and new trunk pan installed. The frame has new brake lines and new fuel lines ran. It's ready to be put back together the rest of the way. Mostly what we're looking for is any help in any aspect of this build from here on out. If anybody can help with that, that that's what we need more than anything. If there's any help that anybody feels that they can offer, please help us finish the Spencer Family GTO. We've got everything in-house we think we need. Rotisserie, lift, and a makeshift paint booth. We need your help. Thanks.